Hello, hello, lads and girls, this is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Watch Dogs Legion. Okay, uh... Missions? Bloody Mary Kelly. Crack that for me. Okay, let's see. Where do I need to go? Oh, I can fast travel. I haven't actually thought about that. Oh, this seems to be our safe house even, so... I mean, I should have thought about it, because you could do it in Watch Dogs too. Fast travel to locations that you unlocked. I've heard from Inspector Lau. We're ready for the briefing. Alright, I'm coming in. Alright, let's get started. heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapons smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 90. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stokovic, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This... was a courtesy. Give my regards to their families, it's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Caitlin. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking, the Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Okay. Well, we know what we need to Sabine do. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. Sure, but it didn't work last time, so why would it work this time? The police force is full of Albion knobs now. Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office. An honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right. But however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Time to get down to business. Alright. 
Alright, I see. Uh, where am I going? I have a place I can fast travel right here. Awesome! <laughs> Man, I can't believe it took me this long to figure out I can do that. I should really abuse it. Alright. It didn't seem like it was that far away from here. It ain't. Security here is state of the art. Quite impenetrable. Unless, of course, you flew a drone through the window, one of Mary's mouth breathers left open. Well, uh, lucky for me, there is one around. The recording device is in her security room. Getting there should be a simple matter of navigating the vents. What the fuck? She's using these people as house servants against their will. Horrible in itself. But a million times worse knowing they end up as unwilling organ donors. I'm going through here. That's it. Let's see what kind of recording we've got on her. Just look at this place. This is what comes of old crooked money. The Kelly family has been profiting from people's misery for a long time. She's got this shit all over the manor. So you've been in there before? Is that how you ended up in the basement of the Southwark incinerator? We needed something incriminating, so we decided someone had to get in here and plant a bug. I wasn't going to assign someone else to do that, who saw how Mary uses the people she grabs out of the EPC, and the staff's uniform's not hard to mimic, so I went in. What I didn't know was that she had intel on our investigation, my team. I thought going off book would stop the leaks, but she still knew we were coming. She tortured me for the names of my team, tried to break me, but cops don't give up cops. Turned out she already knew the whole unit and put hits out on them. <laughs> the woman is a mind fucker. Shit. Well, at least you don't have a microchip in you. Bitch knew who she was dealing with. Did never about to her. That's how I ended up on that butcher's table. So many reasons to want to rid the world of her, but... It wouldn't be enough to just put one in her brain. My mates died trying to bring her to justice. I have to honor that. Okay, like, where does this even... I can call a spider bot from there. Cool. Alright, here we go.
Alright. There we go. Okay, I will need to get this uh, second line up and running too. Go. All right, good, good, good. All right, looks like we got everything here. Let's see what we get. Look at this state of you. Look what you've done to yourself after everything I've done for you. You made me a slave. All of us. Please, let me go. Take this thing out. Back to your old life. Back to nothing. Back to you. 2.5 screaming blighters in your dead end job and sucking off the doll. You don't want that, love. This microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? And this kitchen knife, that won't do it, love. Cutting yourself affects my bottom line. You walk. I can't live like this anymore. No. You are right there. It's all right, sweetheart, because I have another use for you. Are we good? Be sure and spread the word. You know where this one goes. Get these two and all the others over to the venue and ready for the sale. Right away, ma'am. Also, the foreign investors have already landed and the drones are programmed, ready to deliver the invitations and the coordinates to all the guests. Mm, it's that initiative I'm smelling, Peter. Initiative can be a dangerous thing. Can be misinterpreted. That's just sickening. This is insane. How did Mary get her hands on this kind of tech? It takes a sick mind to come up with killer microchips. Perhaps a diseased mind, but definitely an ingenious one. Perfect psych profile for a group like Zero Day, wouldn't you say? Her affiliations aren't my priority, Bagley. She's keeping these people enslaved. And it sounds as if she's selling them. This is huge. Fuck! This is a dystopian nightmare, right? Whether you toe the line as a slave or zap. She triggers that microchip and you're a pile of spare parts. Dead sec. We'll have to crash that slave auction. Get all the information we can out of there. 
The location will be on the invitations. She hasn't sent out the invitation yet, but when she does... Bagley, monitor the drone networks. Give us a heads up when Mary sends out her fleet. Until then, I reckon we're in a holding pattern. I'll get in touch if I hear about anything else that might interest you. Cheers, dead sec. All right. Leave the area. Okay, there are a few missions. Uh. Gap in the armor. I think I'll go for this one. Since we're waiting for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters, solving the mystery of Zero Day. Who are they, and why did they frame DedSec for the bombings? Bagley, what have we got? Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two leads for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull on. There's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404. But instead of being in it for the lulz, this lot seems to be in it for the brutal reshaping of society by any means necessary. Sound like anyone you know? All right. I've got some options then. I've marked both on your optic. All right. I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. Yes, I thought about this too. If we want to stop them mercs from stepping all over us, we've got to take down their leader. So what's your plan? Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Okay, so I'm going to the safe house. Indeed. Might as well fast travel, eh? <laughs> All right, let's have a little shot. Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. As if it wasn't dodgy enough. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14 which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. 
He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellardi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellardi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. Yeah. No pressure, she says. I don't know about that. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. All right, let's get out of here. All right, but I actually think this is a good spot to end off this episode. For you. Drop in a pin on your map. Okay, thank you. Uh, as I said. I think this seems like a good spot to end off this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye bye!